Sheffield United 1-3, Nottingham Forest, Callum Hudson-Odoi scores twice as visitors ease relegation fears. Report and free match highlights as Nottingham Forest move three points clear of the relegation zone by coming from behind to win at Bramall Lane. Anil Ahmed Hodzik sent off in stoppage time, Sheffield United have now conceded 100 league goals this season. Callum Hudson-Odoi scored twice as Nottingham Forest secured a monumental 3-1 victory over already relegated Sheffield United at Bramall Lane. Ben Brereton Diaz's first-half penalty had increased the pressure on Nuno Espirito Santo's side in their battle to preserve their Premier League status 17, but two superb interventions from Hudson Odoi ensured they remain in the driving seat and in control of their top-flight destiny. The former Chelsea winger curled in a superb equaliser before the break 27 and put the game to bed with his second 65 after Ryan Yates' first Premier League goal had blasted Forrest in front 51. With Luton Town missing the chance to move above them following their 1-1 draw at home to Everton on Friday night football, it means Forrest, with a far superior goal difference, can virtually secure their safety with another victory over Chelsea next weekend. Sheffield United had Anil Ahmed Hodzik sent off for a second bookable offence in the sixth minute of stoppage time after a flailing arm in a challenge with Nicolas Dominguez. The Blades remain bottom on 16 points and have now conceded 100 goals this season. Joining Swindon Town as the only two clubs to achieve that unwanted statistic in Premier League history, and they still have two more games to set the record outright. How Forrest stayed in control of their own destiny. What a time for Forrest to collect their first win in five. How they needed this. This was another punishing afternoon for Sheffield United in the Premier League, but the first half was a captivating watch. Chris Wilder's side were deserving of their lead when a poor challenge by Gonzalo Montiel on Brereton Diaz allowed the on-loan striker to dust himself down and convert his spot kick for his sixth goal of the season. The response from Forrest was an impressive one as Hudson Odoi curled in a cracker to restore parity. Chris Wood slammed a header against the crossbar from Morgan Gibbs-White's cross, but the Blades had the better of the opening 45 minutes. Cameron Archer missed two glorious chances as first Matt Sells saved at his feet before the striker scuffed a close-range effort into the ground and over the bar. Sells was also at full stretch to deny Gustavo Hamer's long-range shot while Murillo's last-ditch challenge denied Brereton Diaz a second. But, just as in the recent 4-1 home loss to Burnley, Sheffield United were punished for their profligacy and fell behind just six minutes after the restart. Yates was in the right place to fire Willie Bowley's knockdown past West Fodderingham. It survived a VAR appeal with Brereton Diaz claiming he was fouled by Murillo in the build-up. Esirito Santo admitted he was anxious after Yates' strike, but they avoided any more drama. Two weeks after launching a scathing attack on VAR and accusing Stuart Atwell of being biased following a 2-0 loss at Everton. Wilder indicated he thought that situation influenced the decision. It's a foul, isn't it? He puts two hands in the back, Ben Brereton Diaz doesn't just fall down, he said. He pushes him. I will let you put two and two together. I think it is a pretty easy comfortable decision for everybody to make because of the situation. Asked whether he thought the match officials did not want to give a decision against Forrest, he said, I will let you decide on that situation. I'm not going to get dragged into that debate, a foul is a foul, whether it is a push in any part of the pitch. For me it is a foul, people tell me the game has moved on, you could day Ben needs to be stronger. But there is no need for him to go down like that, you can see he has two hands in his back. They score from that opportunity, we go two to one down. Hamer dragged a shot just wide as United came within inches of an instant response before Hudson Odoi clipped the outside of the post with a trademark run and shot. It was a warning the hosts would not heed as in almost the same position not long after, Hudson Odoi was picked out by Gibbs White and this time cut inside to find the bottom corner. By now, the hosts looked a beaten outfit as Wood's clever flick was tipped around the post by Fodderingham from another inviting Gibbs White delivery. As six minutes of stoppage time had almost elapsed, 
Ahmed Hadzik rose to catch Dominguez with the point of his elbow to compound another miserable afternoon for the Blades. Forrest's fate is in their own hands with two games remaining. Wilder, we should have been 4-0 up at halftime. Chef UTD boss Chris Wilder told Sky Sports, in the first half we were the better team and should have been out of sight. In the second half, we also had chances to put them to bed but quality at the top of the pitch will decide games. The bit in between is important but both boxes will decide games. We made elementary mistakes in certain situations. We all know Callum Hudson Odoi wants to come onto his right peg. If the players love football as much as we do, they'd understand that he has to be sent down the line. He punished us. The biggest thing for me is that we should be 4-0 up at halftime and it's been like that for the last three games. I was scratching my head against Burnley and Newcastle. Nuno, referee didn't interfere in result. Nottingham Forest boss Nuno Asirito Santo told Sky Sports, the reaction after we conceded was very good. To go in level, it shows the character of the team. It shows the togetherness that we have and the commitment and the desire. It was a good moment. On Ben Brereton Diaz's penalty shout, Nuno added, I didn't see the images. I was just expecting the decision. If we concede it I hoped that it was right. But overall, the referee didn't interfere in the result which is important. It is important for individuals to perform well, but what gives me the confidence that we can succeed is the togetherness of the squad. The way they work and help each other. Football is about the team. We want a team that is organized and compact and works for each other. Looking back at the season, there are so many things to improve. It has been very hard for us to manage all the situations. The points deduction, the players that went away to the African Nations Cup, the referees. The only way we can do things is on the pitch. That is the big advantage we have. It is in our hands to achieve the final objective. Merson, I'd be shocked now if Forrest go down. Paul Merson on Soccer Saturday. I'd be shocked now if Forrest went down. Luton need at least four points without Forrest getting anything. If Sheffield United had taken their chances today, they could have been three or four to one up. They didn't take them which was the story as well against Burnley. They missed chance after chance against Newcastle as well. I know it's Sheffield United, they get beat a lot and they've conceded 100 goals but when you've only won twice away from home all season. It's a difficult game still. They came through it well having gone 1-0 down so fair play to them. Forest end long wait for away win Opta stats. Nottingham Forest picked up their first away Premier League victory since a 3-1 win at Newcastle on Boxing Day ending their seven-game winless run on the road. Indeed, this was just their fourth away league victory since the start of last season P37W4D9L24. Sheffield United have conceded 100 Premier League goals in 2023-24. The joint most by a side in a single season in the competition's history Swindon also 142 games in 1993-94, while the last side to concede more in a 38-game top-flight campaign was Leicester City in 1908-2009-102. Sheffield United have failed to win any of their last five Premier League games in which they've gone 1-0 up, losing each of their last three in a row D2, while this was just the third time Nottingham Forest have ever won a Premier League away game having conceded first also coming from behind to beat Leeds in April 1996 and Newcastle on Boxing Day this season. Sheffield United have been shown five red cards in the Premier League this season. Their most in a single league campaign since 2010-11-12 in the Championship. Blunt Blades claim unwanted record. Sky Sports Ben Grounds. Sheffield United's horrible campaign hit a new low as Hudson Odoi's second was the 100th goal they have conceded, making them the first Premier League team to rack up a century in a 38 game season, with Swindon doing it in 1993 94 over 42 games. United's only clean sheet in the league this season came in December's 1 0 home win over Brentford. 
The last side to concede more in a 38-game top-flight campaign was Leicester City in 1908-2009-102. Swindon, who propped up the table in 1993-94, were until now the only team to concede a century of goals in a season since the top flight's rebranding the year prior to that. The Blades had already surpassed Derby's 38-game record of 89 after their 4-2 defeat to Manchester United left them on 92 goals against. A 5-1 hammering by Newcastle confirmed their relegation and took them to 97 before they shipped three at home to Forest. Sheffield United's average of 2.78 goals conceded per game is far beyond Swindon's previous worst of 2.38. And, with two games still to play, away to Everton and at home to Tottenham. The record will surely be broken. Player of the match, Callum Hudson-Odoi. Paul Merson on Soccer Saturday. Callum Hudson-Odoi got two very good goals. The thing that disappoints me is that even I know he's coming back onto his right foot. If I know that, surely Bogle knows he's going to do it. That disappoints me, and as a manager, you're thinking you've worked all week on showing him down the line. The first one is an unbelievable finish, but he'd done exactly the same thing two minutes before he scored his second. How many times do you have to be told? That's why Sheffield United are where they are and that's why they've let in 100 goals. They don't take the information on. It's poor at the highest level. Callum Hudson-Odoi told Sky Sports. We have still got two more games to go and we are relieved. We played well and bounced back from going down and got the goals we deserved. It is nice to get the goals and help the team but it was more important that I helped the team today. I want to help the team and get more goals and assists. Hopefully there are many more to come. When I hit the post I was thinking is it going to go in or not? The more you shoot, the more chance it has of going in. I am happy to help the team. What's next? Sheffield United visit Everton on Saturday, May 11th. Kick off 3 p.m before playing their last Premier League fixture for at least a season at home to Tottenham on Sunday, May 19, kick off 4 p.m. Nottingham Forest continue their survival mission at home to Chelsea on May 11. Live on Sky Sports. Kick off 5.30 p.m. Forest then travel to relegation rivals Burnley on the final day on May 19, kick off 4 p.m. Thanks for your watching. Don't forget to click the subscribed button and hit the bell icon for more. Thank you.